Are you kidding me? If you know me and you know my commitment to this industry, my commitment to the NBA and my commitment to the conferences and knowing as many people as possible, you know that if somebody like David Batney is going to be on our show, we are going to be excited, prepared and lean in. As your body grows bigger, your mind grows flowers. It's great to learn because knowledge is power. And what an amazing responsibility that we brought to the forefront today in education when it comes to not only affordable housing and also to the industry for immediate action. The big story that I took away from this hour is how in the community is where it's most important. So as we come up with product mix to get people into homes, once they get into that home, they have skin in the game. They have a commitment to making it work. They invested in it. Somebody invested in them like a guild and believed in them that they can afford and, and own this home. And once they own the home, they care not more just about the shelter, but about the community. What would it be like if you had terms like pro forma, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and you simplified it in the form of budget? What do you earn versus what do you save? In fact, 52% of all of America and its infrastructure is paid for by housing taxes. So we have to put people in there that are paying taxes, that care about where those taxes are going towards school system, clean water, transportation, and it's programs that start at the mortgage level. And that's why I think IMBs are so important because loan officers that work for IMBs have the infrastructure and really the commitment, if given the proper broadcasting channels, to go out there and help consumers own homes, afford homes, and understand how to run a balance sheet and stay or run their own budget and stay inside those homes. I think you're really going to enjoy that episode. Cost of living and the cost of affordable housing is a top one or two issue in almost all states. So in 2025, we're going to have a new administration of the White House, whichever party wins, and we may have many new seats in Congress and or in the different government agencies and institutions that drive our housing industry. When we try to address home affordability, a key challenge we face is the fact that our industry is over-reliant on credit scores as the measure to become eligible and also what price a person receives on a rate sheet. And the challenge we have is about 22% of our population does not have a 620 credit score. Either they have a thin file or no credit history. So we talk about how electronic bank data can be used to help have a more complete picture of a person and how this data provides credible insights to a person's actual real take home pay. And we can see that trended over time, over many months. And this digital data, in my opinion, is gonna be a huge part of how we close the gap of home ownership in serving the 22% of people today who are very underserved by the industry, but many of them would be very worthy home buyers. These are people who may be small business owners, people who have been very conservative in their use of credit, but are very high quality borrowers in terms of income and cash reserves to qualify for a home.